I know I get some, I, don't, I get a lot of heat for my videos. You guys, I get a lot of heat for my videos, but I do not care at all. Actually, uh, it's just. I mean, it's it's my opinion. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's whatever. That's your that's your prerogative. But I'm just. So, I decided to take you guys with me on my workout, and today I obviously want to talk about something that's also really important to me. I feel like a lot of people uh, don't talk about it and misuse this a lot. Uh, and that's the difference between being an introvert versus being an extrovert. So, let's get going. Okay, Mayday family, so I'm here at the gym. I think it's important to work out uh, at least three to four times a week, which is what I do, or I strive to do. I do mine early in the mornings, uh, but you can do it like in the evenings, just kind of depending on whatever works for you. Uh, and when it comes to workouts, like I said, I, I recommend at least three times a week. Do it, wake up early in the morning if you have to because uh, it really, really does help. And of course, don't just go to the gym, but definitely take the time to reevaluate everything you're eating. I, I kid you not, all the way from one cookie to um, whatever else that you want to eat during the day, you might have to cut some things out to make things happen. Today, I really wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between introvert and extrovert. And a lot of people use these terms a little too loosely and they don't really quite understand what it means to be either an introvert or what it means to be an extrovert. So while we get in our workout, we'll talk a little bit more about that. I've met more people that want to claim that they're introverts than, than extroverts. I feel like extroverts don't necessarily say it all the time. I don't mean a lot of people that um, make that claim, oh, oh, I'm an extrovert or whatever the case may be. But I meet a lot of people that are like, that blame a lot of their inability to communicate effectively or to socialize effectively on being an introvert, which drives me insane because it has nothing to do with it. One of the things that drives me crazy is when people use those terms interchangeably or they kind of use those terms loosely. Being an introvert or being an extrovert is not, it's not an end-all be-all, right? So you can be an introvert and be really, really good at talking to people, uh, forming new relationships, um, communicating, things like that. And you can be an extrovert and not be so good at talking to people or forming new relationships because that's not what it means to either be an introvert or an extrovert. Uh, there's a lot more to be said on that. I will be making another video that focuses more on the extroverts, but the introverts is something that I see a lot. It's very, very ir irritating, to be honest with you. If you're one of those people, get with the program. <laughs> I'm sorry. I find that people are just really quick to try to label themselves as introverts or extroverts when in reality, neither one is better than the other. What's truly gonna make the difference is if you have a good balance of both. Right. But I'm just telling you from what I see from clients that I have, that I've counseled thus far, and um, you know, from everything that I've studied thus far, uh, you know, it's not an excuse, you guys, it's just not. So if you are lacking communication-wise, strive to work on that because you saying that you're an introvert is not an excuse. Uh, you should still be able to communicate if, when it comes down to it, if you have to talk about something. You should be able to effectively do that with whoever it is that you're talking to about it. Or, um, you know, you should be able to uh, be able to take on conflict, right? Or handle conflict and not necessarily have to run away from every conflict or every little thing or every time someone gets kind of angry, you run away. That's not a healthy way to be at all. And you can't, there's no way you can kind of find um, your ultimate happiness from, from being that way. You need to be able to, to have a good balance and strive for those things. I hear a lot of people all the time use introvert as an excuse or extrovert as an excuse for certain things and certain behaviors. Like for example, what drives me, the, what drives me crazy is when people hide behind the farce of uh, not being able to be good communicators or not being able to express themselves uh, because they are introverts. And honestly, 
if you do this, it makes you sound so dumb because being an introvert does not equate to being a bad communicator. That's not what an introvert means. So if you're out here and you're saying things like, well, I'd much rather not um, talk about my feelings or I'd much rather, um, or I'm not able to talk about my feelings, I'm not really able to express myself uh, in that way because I'm more of an introvert. I'll tell you something, that makes no freaking sense at all. Because in reality, uh, we should all be working on having a little bit of both and a good balance. That's the key, right? It's like working out. Um, you want to have a good balance between what you eat and how much you work out. Because just coming to the gym alone isn't going to do anything for you if you're eating Big Macs and fries, you know, every day. <laughs> it's just not. To be honest with you, working out is like 20% of it. The, the, the other 80% is what you eat. That's just the way that it goes. So you want to have a really good balance uh, as far as how much you're able to socialize with people and how you're able to express yourself. You want to make sure that you're doing that in an effective way where your listener is getting what you are dishing out. And you also want to be able to spend time with yourself and be able to be energized by just simply spending time with yourself. Being an introvert, what that means is that you're more you get your energy from being by yourself you get more energy from having a long time to recharge than from being uh, around people that's pretty much that's for the most part that's it that's what an introvert means an introvert doesn't mean that when you're around people you can't communicate or you can't express yourself or your feelings that's not what it means so people that are introverts tend to focus more on their internal thoughts uh, as a point or a source of, of stimulation as opposed to seeking external stimulation. That's what it means. So for example, if you're in a relationship or something and your boyfriend and your girlfriend is telling you that the reason they don't express themselves that much is because they tend to be more introverted, um, you can let them know that that doesn't make any sense because what an introvert, what being an introvert means is that when you get your energy source from uh, being or spending time alone, but that doesn't equate to if something needs to be talked about or communicated, their inability to do so. If they're not good communicators or they're not able to communicate themselves or express their feelings, especially if they're in a relationship, then there's a problem. There really is because, um, you know, saying hey i'm an introvert and then just looking at that that doesn't cut it and it drives me insane i don't know how many relationships i might be ruining by, <laughs> by saying that but it's the truth you guys it's really the truth so if you find that you are um, having a hard time or you do have a hard time communicating your feelings or your thoughts or um, talking to people then you have a little bit of a bigger problem than whether or not you're an introvert or an extrovert. You don't want to label yourself. And people are kind of quick to do that, right? They're quick to label themselves as something. Uh, oh, I'm an introvert. Oh, I'm an extrovert. You know, I'm type A, I'm type B. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be so quick to label yourself as one thing or the other. Because the truth and the reality is to be a fully functional and healthy person, you kind of need to have a balance of of a little bit of everything and know how to balance that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for example, with the introvert and the extrovert, it's like you should be able to spend time with yourself and be able to get energy from spending time with yourself and focusing internally on how you're feeling and how, what you're thinking and be able to do that productively. But you should also be able to spend time with other people and get energy from spending time with other people uh, depending on the time and the circumstance. So you never really truly want to be one or the other because it's not necessarily the healthiest way to be. You kind of want a good balance uh, between both. So another thing to keep in mind is with introverts, introverts tend to respond uh, differently to to dopamine to stimulation right so uh, they tend to get drained a lot 
easier when they're around people. And so then they need to kind of take a step back after a certain amount of time of being around people, they usually need to take a step back to be with them by themselves uh, in order to recharge, right? To get that energy back before kind of going back to uh, being around people. With extroverts, what extroverts do is they get the most stimulated when they are around people. And they don't necessarily gain as much stimulation when they're just hanging out by themselves. It's important to me that you guys understand the difference between the two. Because here's the thing, because just because you're an introvert and you get your energy mainly from spending time by yourself, does not mean that when it comes down to it and you have to have a serious conversation with your partner or uh, at work or you have to express your dislike for something that you shouldn't be able to do that. Like you have to know how to do that. And if you don't know how to do that, that is not a, an issue of being an, an, an introvert or an extrovert, that's an issue of you being a bad communicator and not knowing how to exactly project the message that you're wanting your listener to receive. Mayday family, so the lesson here is that being an introvert or saying that you're an introvert or an extrovert is not an excuse um, for being a bad communicator. Even if you get your energy mostly from spending time by yourself and not necessarily from interacting with um, a lot of people at once or interacting with people, period. If you're in a relationship or if any of, in any other social situation where you have to speak up or you have to speak your mind or you should or you have to communicate, you should be able to do that. Regardless of what you label yourself as, regardless of if you label yourself as an introvert or if you label yourself as an extrovert. If you are one of those people that labels yourself, you kind of need to reevaluate your your life. <laughs> you need to reevaluate that because the goal is, is to have a good balance of both. You know, you want to be able to uh, be energized by being by yourself, but you also want to be able to be energized by being around other people. And that is not congruent with being a good communicator. It's not congruent with knowing how to uh, spend time with other people. Those are all different skills that you should have. So don't be so quick to say, oh, I'm an introvert or I'm an extrovert because neither one is better than the other. What you really need is a good balance of both, right? Um, so you kind of, you know you're an introvert if you get most of your energy from being by yourself uh, or you get most of your energy from thinking internally as opposed to uh, outwardly or if you get more texts and phone calls than you give out then you might be a little bit more on the introverted side uh, but uh, keep in mind that if you are that way you should probably push yourself uh, to be in social situations because that's a good way of getting better at communicating with people and getting better at expressing yourself uh, because what happens a lot of times when it comes to introverts, and I'm not picking on introverts, but <laughs> I guess I'll have to make a separate video for extroverts. I feel like maybe, uh, you know, I spend a lot of time here talking about introverts, but it's a completely different uh, uh, thing altogether. So uh, if you are that way, or you, you're, you use that as an excuse for not being able to talk to people or girls or or whatever or at work then you need to really work on that what really needs to happen is you need to put yourself in situations where there's a lot of people involved uh, social situations so that way you can work on those skills and work on, on sharpening those skills because I wanted to, to really make sure that people were cognizant of the differences between those two words but thank you guys for joining me today I love you so much and I'll see you guys next time bye